New tonight at 6, a landmark in Hartford under attack by vandals. Over the past two weeks, police say the Mark Twain house has had windows broken and they have had enough. And police are now looking for the suspects. Let's get to Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Christian Cologne. He is live at Hartford with the very latest on this investigation. Christian. Hi there, yeah, I'm standing right in front of the Mark Twain house and take a look behind us. This is right here was known as his conservatory and inside there's a lot of plants and statues and now you can see all the windows are completely shattered. It all goes back to December 23rd, 23rd. we'll start there. That's when uh, the vandals first attacked this building. The museum officials quickly cleaned it up and kind of got over it. But then on New Year's Eve, that's when the vandals came back and broke even more windows and take a look right here. You could see that there's a lot of damage. They say it goes to over $15,000 worth of damage. They also found several bricks and rocks inside, and those bricks ended up actually breaking one of the statues, the rare statues found inside the building. Museum officials are very upset because of this. They even uh, told us that they had to cut a lot of the tours short because of the dangerous conditions inside. They say there's gravel inside, but there's also a lot of the glass from the windows that landed on, to, on top of the floor. So, of course, a very uh, distressing uh, situation for them. Let's listen to what they told us tonight. And it's distressing. This is, you know, this is one of the state's best and uh, most important historic sites in terms of bringing in tourists from out of sight, out of, out of state. Um, we had a uh, we had a travel writer here from out of state as well, writing for a national travel magazine, and it's it's just not a great look um, to have have a vandalized site. And as I mentioned earlier, they're saying estimating over $15,000 will have to be spent in terms of trying to fix these windows as well as some repairs and stepping up security. So they are asking people if they want to help out to go to their GoFundMe page. We'll have more info on the Channel 3 app. As for the investigation, police say they are looking for three suspects who fled the scene. Anyone with information, give them a call. In Hartford tonight, Christian Colon, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.